Welcome to Digital Identities. My name is Dr. Jenna Conde and I'm a senior lecturer in digital society in the School of Social Sciences here at Western Sydney University. I would like to start by acknowledging that I am recording this video on the lands of the Darug and Gundungurra people and pay my respects to elders past, present and future and acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded. I would like to extend those respects to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students that might join us in this subject too. This subject examines identity in a digitalising society. It's a core subject for Bachelor of Cybersecurity and Behaviour students and an elective choice for students from across the university. This subject also belongs to the new Equitable Technologies minor from the university's 21st century curriculum project. If you have elective space within your programme and find yourself enjoying this subject, then the new transdisciplinary minor in Equitable Technologies could be for you. In Digital Identities, you will explore questions such as who are we becoming with digital technologies? What's happening to us as technology rapidly advances and reworks everything? What does it even mean to be human now? How are digital experiences shaped by long-standing social inequalities? And who is responsible for all the socio-technical issues we are experiencing in our digitalizing society? How can we make digital technologies better? These are really big questions and we're going to try and address them in this subject. To do that, we use identity as a conceptual tool to think about and act upon who we are becoming with digital technologies. So you will learn about identities, about ourselves as the flows of data across digital systems, as the way we make ourselves in the interactions with others in social media spaces. Over the course of the semester, you will consider digital technologies from your own perspectives, but also from the perspectives of other people from different social groups and communities to your own. People experience technology in very different ways. The curriculum development team have carried out interviews with different people to generate some case studies. These case studies are for you to understand digital technologies from diverse perspectives. The idea is that you will come to know the people in your case studies really well and work to centre their needs in your designs and proposals and ideas for new and improved digital technologies and systems. Through the case studies, we will explore pressing issues such as online harms, privacy, surveillance, digital activism and human rights. You will also reflect upon personal and professional digital identities and reimagine digital technologies and social media for new possibilities of identity equity and justice. The first of six modules in this subject is called Influencing Technological Futures. Okay, so why are we starting here with an orientation towards influencing technological futures? Well, it's to do with the growing recognition across society that our technological systems and digital platforms need to change. Our curriculum here is driven by a pressing need to make better technologies for a more just world. We want students from our university to go out into the world and change technology for good. The list of problems and concerns about technology is pretty much endless. From online hate and cyberbullying to technology facilitated abuse and mental health problems, increased surveillance and the threats to democracy, political suppression, misinformation and privacy breaches and identity theft. The list is endless. The platforms, devices, systems and technological infrastructures that currently shape our lives are marginalising, oppressing and excluding some groups and communities to the benefit of others. The recent pandemic conditions have amplified the seriousness of digital inequality and illustrated how uncaring technological infrastructures can be in times of crisis. While some people have been able to remain connected, others have been completely disconnected and with no digital means to work and study from home. Equity, fairness and justice appear further out of reach as technology and social media companies orientate our social and community-based interactions towards profit-making agendas. The power of technology to shape and create new social problems and amplify existing social inequalities is now firmly in the public consciousness as governments scramble to develop legislation and big technologies face legal scrutiny on a global scale. Ironically, the communities and social movements that are pushing for social and technological change must use the very platforms that are encoded with the inequity that they challenge. Technologised inequity is a serious social issue both for the future of work and the future of society. We need to ensure that our digital platforms from the algorithms and metadata to their architecture and user design work in ways that serve the needs of those who need it most.
Our students recognise this too. In my role within the university's 21st century curriculum project, students are telling us repeatedly that there's no point in thinking about a future that isn't more equitable and just. They are concerned and deeply worried, as many people are right now, about the intersecting crises we are living with and facing in the present and future. The COVID-19 pandemic, precarity, conflict, rising inequality, housing affordability and climate change are the intersecting crises that are playing key roles in people's lives and technologies and digital systems are bound up within these crises, sometimes helping, sometimes making things worse. Technology can be considered as a paradox where on the one hand it connects us like never before but on the other it is dividing us and creating new societal problems. Technologies, apps and platforms made in the Silicon Valley and governed predominantly by white men are not representative nor necessarily fit for purpose when rolled out to other parts of the world. We need a technological future where technologies are developed by different kinds of people with different kinds of identities, technologies that serve different kinds of purposes and goals. So where do you fit into this picture? Well, Australia's vision is to be a leading digital economy and society by 2030. The roadmap to getting there includes a range of equity-related challenges such as enhancing digital inclusion and digital skills, ensuring cyber safety, cyber security and trust, establishing privacy and data rights and fostering fairness and ethics within new technological innovations such as artificial intelligence. The recent Australia's Digital Pulse report by Deloitte Access Economics and the Australian Computing Society forecasts that there will be over 1.1 million technology workers in Australia by 2026. That's not very far away. The report calls for the professionalisation of this growing technology sector through agreed educational practices, codes of conduct and most importantly, ethical standards, as well as workers' rights. As laws and legislation just cannot keep pace with advances in technological development, the report argues that technology professionals must be able to make ethical decisions about the products and services they create and sustain. This subject therefore orientates towards industry, government and community requirements for an ethical technology workforce comprised of professionals who will take responsibility for ensuring equity within our increasingly technologised lives. In the Western world of advanced capitalism, the premise that technology is something progressive, the idea that technology is, is, is good, dominates, it's all about growth and innovation, it's our economy and our survival and provides the solutions to our problems. Indeed, Technology is fundamental to who we are and who we are in the processes of becoming, but the idea that unchecked technology designed by entrepreneurs and funded by venture capitalists will save us and rescue the world is being challenged and disrupted. Rightly so. We need to disrupt big technology. It's not the other way around anymore. In this subject, we question our assumptions, values and ideologies about technologies and the contribution of technology to society and its impact upon who we are and who we are becoming. We ask who is making technology and for whom is it designed for? And if we, the staff and students in this subject, are in the processes of becoming technology designers, experts and managers working in the technology industries, who are we and who are we making technologies for? Identities matter very much indeed. The responsibility for ensuring technology makers, owners and implementers are accountable for socio-technical creations like artificial intelligence will likely be dispersed across and beyond the technology sector to professionals in other occupations. So a subject like this is therefore relevant to all professionals since the digital is inescapable and it will be embedded in your future job roles no matter what you do. The professionals who are upholding ethical conduct and accountability might be in strategic and policy driven roles at a variety of organisations, so from government to the non-profit sector and from technology startups to large multinational technology corporations. This subject aims to both encourage you and prepare you to operate within these new technology spaces of employment opportunity, with the capacity to articulate the inequity of unethical products, services and systems for particular groups and communities of people. Across the semester, we will embrace the complexities of the technology society relationship in this subject in order to expand notions of technology beyond the mechanical and technical. And by centering equity, we hope to exceed the frames of innovation and solutionism for profit making agendas. While the unethical and unjust consequences of today's socio-technical creations are starting to be recognised within the technology industries, their response to 
fixing them and addressing them can too easily be a tick box exercise to showcase some form of care and negate responsibility. This subject offers a critical curriculum on digital technologies that identifies the ethical greenwashing practices that many technology companies are doing in order to placate public and political scrutiny. When students centre equity and justice in their technology work, they can be making a significant contribution to realising a technological digital society that is genuinely striving to be fair for everyone. In this subject, we therefore directly address how gender, race, class, sexuality, age, nationality and disability and other identity markers of difference impact our experiences of digitalised life. Your understanding of digital identities and the relationships between people and technology will shift and change as you journey through this subject. This first module is very much about getting a baseline reading on what your current understandings of digital identities and human technology relationships are. We then advance those understandings by looking at what the technologized structures that shape our lives make possible or impossible for us in terms of who we are. Identity is a very useful concept to think about technology with. That's what we'll be doing in the rest of this module. Wherever possible, the learning activities are designed to create artefacts or things for you to include in your reflection for assessment one. Reflection is a route to identifying your assumptions about the world uh, and rethinking some of those. Reflection is certainly an important and a much needed practice that many people in the technology sector could really benefit from. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope you enjoy the subject digital identities.